so about six months ago I walked into my dealer shop and I saw the Massport mower sitting there and it was uh, something that I've never seen before so you know I walked around and looked at it and spoke to my dealer and um, at the time I think he was looking for uh, the price was I want to say $795 um, so he said you know hey listen I haven't sold any one any of these so you want to test it out you know I'll, I'll give it to you and I'll take a hundred dollars off I say hey sure you know looking at the mower it looked like a tank let me show you so by the look of this mower I was uh, extremely impressed you know the tires are nice and beefy um, let me go over the mower real quick for you um, the tires are real nice and beefy and these are rubber tires this is plastic but these are rubber tires the grips and uh, you can tell small ones in the front thicker fat ones in the back um, pretty hard cast steel uh, which you know it, it was also self propel um, has a shut off on and off switch and uh, it has a guard right here you know to protect the uh, face of the mower has a little guard right here also and uh, oh for you uh, engine guys <laughs> is a uh, Massport Brig and Stratton engine uh, professional series 190 cc's and the torque is 8.50 and 2600 rpm for this one specific uh, engine also guys one thing that I loved about this mower just by looking at it is the ability to grab right here I'm doing this one-handed so I do apologize you squeeze this in and you bring it up how about that let me see if I can get it done better squeeze here and you bring it up down and up and the whole mower goes up and down so this is where you bring the mower up and down let me see if I can show you yeah let's skip that and also uh, it doesn't have an ex uh, a side shoot basically what what happens is you take out the plug in the back and it has this little area right here and the grass shoots out you know um, three gears and right here you know you have the throttle so just by looking at this mower you know contractor series it looks nice beefy so I said to myself man let's go ahead and get this mower and try it out see what's up um, here is your one okay those are the pros those are the pros you know nice mower beefy mower let me try it out with the guys and see if we like it right all right so let me tell you <laughs> the cons right after utilizing this mower for six months number one is this mower cuts like crap um it came with two blades the mulching blade and the regular cutting blade i hope you can see but to me the deck is not deep enough but it doesn't mulch as well um, <clears throat> so what I cut is centipede Bermuda St. Augustine and weeds <laughs> uh, one or two zoysias but I may I'm mainly utilizing this mower on my centipede backyards I want to say three three yards per week so I'm not using you know I'm not utilizing this mower a hell of a lot you know what I mean um, 
So the problem that I was getting with this mower is it leaves a lot of straggler. Um, so I have to double cut with this mower. Now I tried taking out the, uh, the plug and it's still, you know, it's, it's still doing the same thing. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you, in between that time, it broke down twice on me. Uh, it just stopped working. Well, I'm not sure what it what it was. Um, so yeah, that that was an issue for me as far as a uh, you know brand new mower. Now another thing, guys, and, and maybe it's just me, the handle. Now here is your blade engagement slash on and off switch right lever for your mower um usually it is on this side so it's kind of backwards no big deal right i said okay let me go ahead and try it out so the issue that i'm having is you know you always have to kind of remind yourself that you hold it here and you're mowing like this look at my grip i'm mowing like this so after mowing like this for a while this right here gets annoying you know what i mean this this doing this the whole time this here and this it gets annoying and then you have to remember to engage your speed or your your transmission with this back bar so you're you're holding it like this and this here is is annoying after a while you know it, it seems like it's no big deal but after a while guys having to do this the whole time it hold that grip you know yes I can easily tie or have something a loop where or velcro so you know I can have it here and it is it's engaged but I shouldn't have to do that it's, it's just annoying you know so this right here is a no-no I've tried and tried and tried guys but the grip thing you know is is it's not it's not working for us it's not working for us um so yeah that portion of it is extremely annoying uh, the mower itself is built good um, the engine uh, is giving me a lot of issues and let's see if I can start it up for you so you can hear this engine now this is a six months old mower and listen to the way this engine sounds Okay, I know some of you may say, yeah, all you need is an adjustment. Guys, this is a six month old lawnmower that broke down on me twice, cuts like crap, and the engine sounds like that. I mean, you tell me, am I being picky? Am I being too picky? Or, you know, I expect a lot more from a lawnmower that I paid 600 and some dollars and that was on a deal so imagine paying $700 for this and it sounds like that maybe I got the wrong mower you know you you have one out of the thousands that they make that is actually uh, you know has some some sort of defect maybe I got it but uh, at the end of the day guys this is what's gonna happen to this mower come February uh, March or April well at, at the beginning of the uh, mowing season guys adios hasta luego see you don't want to be ya this mower is gone guys I uh, already spoke to my dealer and he says no problem bring it back we'll go ahead and uh, give you some credit for it where I can purchase something else and with that amount of money guys I can easily buy two regular homeowner mowers and have used one 
and have the other one for backup. You know what I mean? The $600, come on guys. I can definitely do that. I, I'm not a uh, happy consumer right now, but it's no big deal. Things happen, life goes on. Just want to give you guys my honest opinion about this mower. Now, it may cut well in your area, depending on what type of grass you have. But when it comes to centipede grass and Augustine grass, Bermuda, as a matter of fact, I had it at, at home for uh, about a month. And, and guys, let me tell you, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt. Or oh, another thing was, um, for some reason, the balance. Um, and I understand that, you know, you have this with a lot of mowers, but the back is extremely heavier than the front, which enables you to kind of balance the mower and you have to keep with the grip the way you grip in this mower like so and having to hold it up so it stays balanced because the back is heavier than the front you know it, it becomes a pain in the ass excuse my french so guys there you go i'm, I'm not gonna make this into a long video just want to give you guys uh, my opinion about the uh, Massport here on a uh, southern turf. Uh, so no, here's a thumbs down for us. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of it. So if you guys have any comments on uh, on this mower, please leave them below. And and please keep in mind that again. I'm giving you my experience with this mower on Southern Turf. Not sure what it's gonna do in your, uh, in your area, okay? All right guys, until the next. Thank you and pop smoke, peace.